All right, roll number eight. Those rolls are starting to pick up. Reverse ender there, or not ender, reverse side facing. That is a nice conditioned wheat scent. Let's see what the date is in three, two, one. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are in your neck of the woods watching this video. Happy day. So here we are on our second round of the Bank Branch Battles. And this is a, my second trip round through uh, branches that I most commonly receive coins from. And Bank Branch A provided me with all customer wrap rolls, which is nice. So I've got 10 10 pennies from this bank. Bank branch B is coming up next. Um, but we're going to do just one roll here, like always, together. I like picking the odd one out. Uh, just a little different wrapping. And we'll see what we can find. I'm going to do one together here with you. Uh, for the most part, I'm just separating coppers from modern clad coins. I'm looking for those Wheaties. I'll go off camera just to look for any known varieties or double die error coins, anything major like that. Oh, come on, there's a few more. There we go. So let's see what we have here. Looking pretty good. Some good corrosion. Nice mixed roll. We're going to have some copper in here real easy. 2012 and 22s. Like I said, I'll look at these a little bit closer off camera. And uh, just to see what we have. What can we fill our album with? What the heck? Well, that's a shield coin. So that's just real dirties on here. Just nice to see what's out and about. And if there's any great finds, album completions. My albums uh, in particular are pretty much complete. I need the 2024s of sent. I have not seen any of those um, in collections and or in the rolls yet, so they're still new. I don't think they're going to be out in too much of a circulation. Oh, nice little wide rim there. Um, what else do I need? I think I am all set with pennies. It's just the wheats that I'm after now. Right. And that's looking all pretty modern here. Some well-loved 90s and 80s. Well, I thought those would have been copper by some of their colorations, but these are just looking dirty as dirty can be. Let's see here. Oh, we're almost done. Very nice. All right, this is going to be an interesting hunt. Uh, that first roll, I usually average around 25% uh, being copper, no foreigns, and no copper in that first roll. So I'll bring you back in, see if any of the other rolls give us anything of interest, and I'll look at these a little bit closer off camera as well to see what we have bring in for the next round all right folks here we are finally with the find this is roll number six and i'll tell you i'm beginning to think these rolls were hunted before i've got very little copper i've had no finds whatsoever till i pulled this one out and right there at the end we have the 2009 uh, lincoln scent I don't remember which one that is. Let's see here. It's a 2009 Denver. A wee bit dirty, so definitely not an upgrade, but finally, finally a find. I think that's the formative years. It might be the end. I'm going to have to double check. I don't remember the ends. But it's a 2009 low mintage in it. In any way. So count that for the first find. Rule number six. All right, folks, here we are. Rule number eight. Finally, another find. So we have the 2009. Coppers are starting to pick up. Um, but we have our first sweet scent. And this is a 1954 Denver. 
So nice to see the weed are out here. Hopefully this will be a sign of changing times with these rules. And if I just look through the rest of these, um, might have some coppers, but no more weedies. Bring you back for the next find. All right, so here we are for the summary of Bank Branch A. I'm actually so a little disappointed in the, this branch. Usually I go to this branch and I get good, good pennies. Um, this is it for the finds, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, um, and 1982. So I don't factor in 82, but just right there uh, for copper, that's only 10%. Normally I'm averaging around 24 to 26%, so I like saying about a quarter of the rolls, 25% of my pennies from this bank have historically been copper. So to drop down to 10% copper... Um, really surprises me and then for the fines um, you know nothing major or significant here this is a 1971 San Francisco I keep the S mint marks again I'm here on the East Coast so I don't see San Francisco mints but and so I like seeing them so I have a collection of uh, S mint marked coins uh, 1971 San Francisco is a very common year um, so we don't have to we don't worry, it's not like it's a low date or a proof. This San Francisco mint was very common with the pennies back in the late 60s, early 70s. We did find a 2009 uh, penny. That's our Lincoln cent, uh, anniversary year there for him. And then we did have one weedy. Been a while for the wheats, but one weedy, and this was that 1954 Denver. So overall, that's what we're looking at. Three good finds, standard coppers, 1982s. Um, I'll have to weigh and separate large date, small date, and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to get going here on Bank Branch B for this battle, and I'll bring you back in for the first finds. All right, folks, here we are on roll number five of Bank Branch B for the Bank Branch Battle. And we have our first find, and I'm just thumbing through here real quick. Make sure it's the only one in this roll. This is a wheat scent. Came in reverse side up here, so let's take a look and see what we have in three, two, one. 41 Philadelphia. There you go. Nice 1941 Philly wheat scent. We did also have in an earlier one that wasn't significant for a shot, but we also did find one Canadian in this group. Roll number three gave us a 1976 Canadian. So, good find. Not a great find, but another good find. So a Canadian and a wheat in the first five rolls of this bank branch. All right, folks, here we go. Here's our last penny in roll number six. Is a 2009. Um, that is a dirty, but Philadelphia. 2009 Philadelphia. And that is his professional life one, if I... Yeah, professional life. Had to double check there. So, 2009, professional life. Good find. Now, how fun is this? Back to back. We just went through that professional life in roll number six. I roll it, fan out roll number seven, and look at what just opened up right there. I'll flip those anyways for me to see, but we have a dime. And that is really don't like dimes. It makes it so hard to read here. I'm being dirty. I think that's 2008. Nope. 2000. So, nice little find on that one. Modern. But a dime and a penny roll. Good find. Alright, roll number eight. Those rolls are starting to pick up. Reverse ender there, or not ender, reverse side facing. That is a nice conditioned wheat scent. Let's see what the date is in three, two, one, flip. 
That is, wow, that's a 1937. Double check on that. Doing this off camera, sorry folks. Yeah, nice, 1937 Philly. Almost looks clayish, that little red brown there. But 1937 Weedy, what a find. All right, everyone, here we are for the final summary for the Bank Branch Battle B. This is my second one, different bank, but one of the banks I normally go to. And I've actually been impressed and shocked. Um, I got the bank I go to the most for my coins was Bank Branch A, which I wasn't too happy with. I think um, we had, but we just had the one wheat and... Um, one 2009 and a 1971 s that i kept this one on the other hand look at this fine the, uh, that first one also had very little copper into it um, this one a little more average for me so we have the 1960s 1970s 1980s and my 1982s back here and again i do keep all of those one of these videos i'm going uh, get my collection out and weigh and look and separate large date, small date, copper versus zinc. That's that's to come. That's down. I'm I'm waiting for a good amount on that one. But great finds for Bank Branch B. Again, it's a bank branch that I barely go to. Uh, we did have a 2000 uh, dime in the fine, so at least we made money on that one. We had a 1976 and a 19. 78 uh, Canadian, so two foreign finds in that second batch. I don't know what there, there we go. So 1976, 19, um, 78 Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth on there, always good to find. Um, this one we had a very ugly, dirty, that is the childhood. Um, the first series of the Lincoln 2009, and that was a Denver. This one's got some corrosion in on it, not too bad, but this is their professional, uh, or f let's see here, early childhood formative years. I can never remember the name of that one. It's the third one in the series, nonetheless, and that was 2009, and that is a Philly, but like you can see there, that is very dirty of a coin, not the best of condition, but a 2002, 2009s uh, for the win there. And then finally, we also had two nice-looking wheat scents, so good use, but we did have a, look at that, bring that up. 1937 Philly and a 1941 Philly. Why is that not focusing? Get that in the light a little bit better, maybe. All right. There we go. Good enough. So 1941 Philly as well. So two wheats, two 2009s two foreign finds, and a bunch of copper. So Bank Branch B for this battle definitely, definitely won there. So if you're liking these Bank, bank Branch battles, please make a comment below if you want to see more. I'm going to try doing some different banks or some more banks if I can get multiple banks to uh, work with me on that. Um, yeah, I'll do what I can. Remember to click that subscribe button, hit that like button for me, support that channel um, however you see fit, and until the next time, happy hunting!